Okay, uh, we've got tilt number two. The specialist subject has been chosen by Family Man Ashton Davis from Stockport or um, kind of things. Oh, I would have missed up. Aldi's is from. Right. Okay, here we go. Uh, you score double on yours. Yeah. Good luck, everybody. Uh, some people chomping at the bit here, I can see. Yeah. Uh, if the Premiership is the first tier of English football, <laughs> leaves. Fifth. Conference is a fifth. It is the fifth. Well done. Yeah, well, well, <laughs> nice anticipation. I need to get into these. Yeah. You do need to get in quickly. Yeah, just go. Not including the northern and southern subdivisions, how many teams play in England's national uh, football's national league? Steve <laughs> Rose. Not 22, Ashton. 24. 24 is double points. Oh, they're very really useful. Nice sound. Next one. In 1902, who became the last non-league club? Yes. Chris. Spurs. You know it's right, don't you? It's Spurs. And Ashton, you were like a third of a second behind, but Chris, great points. The last non-league club to win the FA Cup, even though they won it three times in the 1960s. Uh, on uh, the 26th of January, 2013 at Carrow Road, Norwich, with a 1 0 victory, who became the first non league side? Michael McPartland. Luton. Luton is correct. Well, to my... Which town's football team became, in 1987, the first to gain automatic. Michael Scarborough. Yep. Well done again, Mike. Well done. Laycock was behind. Were you going for Scarborough as well? Yeah, of course I was. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> now sponsored by Ryman. Ashton. Yeah, thank you for thank you for bailing me out there because I can't even say it. So say it again for me, please. Yeah, well done. Uh, Ashton, check it out. Gaining promotion to the what is it? If, if me and league. If, if me and <laughs> leagues in 2013, which non-league club is the best part of 50 miles closer to Yamasukro? Chris. Time's up by a long shot. Minus one as well. If I could give you minus two, I would do. Uh, we're still going. Which non-league club is the best part of 50 miles closer to Yamasukro than any other? Or oh, 50 miles close to Paris. Yeah. Night before Christmas. Night before Christmas. Uh, Ashton. Guernsey. Guernsey is the correct answer. Two. Oh, Ashton, you are now making hay while well. the sun shines. Just keep an eye on your scores, especially with those double ones. That's a double, that's a double. You've got three doubles now, haven't you? That's all. Okay. Not Maidenhead. Which is the only football club in England to have applied for entry into the FA Cup every season since its inception in 1871? Friends! Aston Villa. No. Chris. Winsor and Eaton. Sam. Stephen. McDonald. Yove. Preston. Blyce. Lees. Voice Green. McPartland. Colossop. Yes, you're right. No. Oh. It's Christmas! Ashton, please. Um, you're a great yarmouth. It's Marlow. She yeah, always close, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I went the wrong direction. Uh, there is a case to say Maidenhead have done it, but they kind of haven't as well, so. Next. Wrong way up the 404. Nicknamed the Chair Boys of <laughs> Chris. Wick and Wanderers. Oh, that's a bit biased. That. That's a bit Ashton, biased. what would you have said? Wick and Wanderers. Well, you've got a point each. If you check out the notice boards there, you've got 8.4 each. So you one point each. Uh, Chris, you are going to concede Ashton would have got the, that one. Oh, then I get Sunday two points as a half. Oh, yeah, yeah you do. <laughs> Good point. So Ashton, you get... Oh, he's squeezing uh, it. Chris one gets one, <laughs> one point. One for me. And Ashton two gets one. two points. Wait, we can one do it. Yeah. Are they not in the league anymore? Oh, no. No, they are now. Oh, they are. They are now, but they've been in the name. 
Oh, is, that, is that a league question now? Yeah, they're in the league. They're in the league uh, one. Oh, no, but the, the rest of the question brought in the non-league part about uh, eight years later losing an FA Cup final, semi-final 2-1 to the eventual winners, Liverpool. OK. In the season of 2008-2009, who scored 46 goals in 46 appearances for pool in all competitions? Laycock. I'm sure you weren't right. Thanks for that. What, what, what did you say? Jamie Vardy. Sam. Leicester. Chris. Steve Claridge. Lees. Machiavelli. M Preston. Darren Clare. Martin. Smith. No. <laughs> <laughs> McPartland. Yes. Jo Jones. No. <laughs> Good guess. Best one so far. It's uh, scored against Leeds a few weeks ago, Charlie Austin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I wasn't going that obscure on that one, if you see what I mean. No, no. But should really be right next. We've got 15 general knowledge coming out. Start, you know. Oh, now. Thank you. Is that the last question? That That's the last of those. Oh, yeah. Round twos and ones. Oh. Oh. Copper and zinc are the best. Oh. Leeds! Brass. Is it? Yeah. Oh, it's bronze or brass. Can we have a fist pump, please? Yes. <laughs> there you are, the are way down there. Out of the way. Okay. In which English Reset. count? Thank you. Good spot, everybody. Matt. Uh, in which English county are Louth, Ellis, <laughs> Ashton? Did you say? Lincolnshire. Uh, Lincoln's correct. So you. It's going great. Look at your score on this round. It's. 16. Does he get four for that? No, he doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. What instrument was played by Louis Belson, Caroline Corr, <laughs> Drums. Is it? Drums. Uh, and the next one's going to be Karen Carpenter, obviously. Who else could it have been? Ringo Starr? <laughs> don't <laughs> play the drums? Uh, ah, he's still here. Life at the top, room at the top. Clive. John Brain. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, where else could I possibly look on that one? Uh, stay say, with me till morning, it's by mid 20th century novelist. It's Clive. The Spanish inventor, Jerónimo de Ayans y Beaumont, Thomas Savory, Thomas Newcomen, <laughs> Sam. Steam. Yes, Steam is a perfect answer. Sam, the, these are hard to come by today. When I see Sam's scores, and normally you're raking them in by this stage, aren't you? Too drunk last night, that's the problem. Oh, remind me to start and stop, Mark, because you'll want this one. Commander Lime in The Hunger Games, Mockingjay, Part 2. Captain Phasma in Star Wars, The Force Awakens. And Brienne of Tarth in Game of Thrones. <laughs> Christie? Yeah, Gwendolyn Christie is uh, worth the points. Uh, 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 Bri uh, Brienne of Tarth in, uh, what was I going to say next? Game of Thrones, are all played by which actress? Gwendolyn Christie? That's the last Game of Thrones question. Come on, that was hardly a Game of Thrones question, a Star Wars question. Next one. Whose periodo azul or it's Christmas? Picasso. Yeah, absolutely right. Oh, uh, so far in front of everybody <laughs> there. There's real daylight between you and everybody else on that one. Hang on. I'm not. I have two go up. Hey? Did I get two go up for that? Yeah, I heard the ting. I should have two more than I've got, I think. Well, we can soon sort that out. Please don't be close at the end. That's Clive. Ah, you put it on Clive, you see? You need to take four off Clive. Because you just put four on Twitter. Ah, that's where it's gone on. Clive, you've got two this round. Yeah. I'm doing it again, Chris. I'm doing it again. That's a great spot, Chris. Honestly, it's brilliant. As well as that, there's only one for the last one, so obviously that was... Uh, 
I'll have to put different sounds on for you all, that's the only answer. Next one, let's go. Which general won the battles at Trebia, Trasimene, Hannibal? Hannibal from the 18. <laughs> Josh Pepper. According to the Douglas Adams book, that's an optimistic one. It's mostly harmless. I'm afraid not, Mark. Uh, unlucky, Mark. No, it wasn't lucky, it was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> According to Douglas Adams' book, what is the most. <laughs> Ashton. Minus one. I've buggered it as well, I think. Yes, you have. That's right, it's still on the uh, I've got 42. Lee's. 42. No. What is the most massively useful thing an Child's Child. Towel. Uh, these common items are often associated with German holiday makers. Just in case you were thinking that one's going to come your way. So you're right up here, aren't you, Steve? What, what, what? Are you giving some more room out there? Let's crack on. What name is shared by the UVF gunman shot by the British Army. I was going to say Jihadi John, I've totally screwed that up. Oh, you did, I'm afraid. Mark, you are just going in one direction at the moment. Good band. Pass the cell by date. Shot by the British Army in 1989, the first Briton to win a stage of and finish the Tour de France, and the number eight who was Ireland's leading try scorer in the night before Christmas. Before Christmas. Before Christmas. I'm afraid not, so you lose. It's there. Christmas! Uh, Preston. Who, uh, I'm sorry, but who did Mike, Mike said it was? Partland, not McDonald. Oh, man. Who, who did Mike said it was? I've got two in my mind. Well, what did you say, Michael? Hoban. Not Hoban. Oh, is it Simpson? Yeah, Simpson is a No, it's not. Sorry, no, it's not Simpson. Uh, sure? Minus one. I'm sure it's not Simpson, yeah. Um, <laughs> Preston. I'm a chemist. Thank you. Uh, who else? Ashton. No, great. Miller. No. Uh, the first Briton to win Tour de France and the number eight, who was Ireland's leading try scorer in the 1991 World Cup. And that's the finish of the question. The first. Uh, we the have got Lees. Johnson. No. Chris. Gibson. Rhodes. Fitzgerald. No, I'm going to... Cr <laughs> Martin. Smith. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it's Brian Robinson. And we are there. A spokesman for which couple said they have at all times acted within the Green Book rules and always in full consultation with the House of Commons authorities. The couple earned 238... Uh, Preston. Uh, Burke on his wife, Speaker on his wife. I'm afraid it's not that bad. <laughs> Uh, McPartland. Yvette Cooper and Balls. <laughs> Both of them are there, yes, well done. Yeah, well done, Mike. Oh, you can yeah, still hear yeah. the things going on, that's quite nice. Local question? Yeah. For both of us, I think, almost, isn't it? Next one. Who's been principal conductor of the Berlin Philharmonic? <laughs> McPartland. Rattle. Simon Rattle is a standard. <laughs> that's Michael McPartland. Indeed. Yeah. yeah. Oh, look at him. Ooh, oh, who's <laughs> leading this tilt? Ashton still, but only just. Uh, Bad Boys by Inner Circle was a theme to which long-running US Fox Laycock? Cops. Yeah, Cops is on. Laycock, great answer. Uh, flying the wall, blah, blah, blah. Film on location with the men and women of law enforcement all suspected innocent until proven guilty. Yeah, right. Uh, Mark, you get two points there. Hey! That's a rare bird. Check it out. Hey, okay. music to your ears. Take that back to Halifax with you. Which Egyptian god was most often depicted as a falcon? Sam. Horus. Horus is absolutely right. Sam, you waited patiently on the bank for the bite there. I'm proud of you. Uh, of what type of gem is a 563.35 carat? The night before Christmas. Woo! Emerald. No. It's the star of India, the largest lake on. It's Christmas. Diamond. No, I'm not finished neither. Uh, Martin. Kari Noor. 
No, let me let me deduct a few here. Michael. Malaycock. Martin Mackay. Uh, Sam. Cullinan. No. Chris. Sapphire. Sapphire is yeah, two points. Winner of that tilt was Ashton. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> and now, listen to the scores.